Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Let's Play Sonic Generations for the PlayStation 3 Part, or episode 11 on Sunday, on 7 Let's Play 7 Days with Mr. Crazy Game 13 And, uh, today, I am, uh, going to... Sorry, um, I'm going to be... Well, last time we did, uh, the rival and boss of the Dreamcast era Shadow the Hedgehog and Perfect Chaos. And in this episode, we're going to be beginning the modern era with Crisis City. Let's go. Um, no one knew how to do the stomp. Right, so. Crisis City, yes. Crisis City from Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. The one stage that nobody wanted to come back in this game. Well, unfortunately for you guys, it has. And it's awesome! Seriously, I've always wanted to know what it was like to play a Sonic 06 stage in, like, modern Sonic, Sonic Generation, Slash Unleashed, Slash Colors. Like, in that perspective. I just always wanted to play an 06 stage in a Hedgehog Engine style. Which is why this is the stage that I was looking forward to playing the most whenever this game was uh, was in development. I w it would have been New Top Run because that's my favourite stage. But no, it was this because I really wanted to play it, play a Sonic 06 stage for a while in this perspective. So, yes. Maybe, just maybe, if Sonic 06 would have been like this, then nobody would have hated it. But I still think it was pretty good. It wasn't great. It was pretty good as it was, but it would have been better like this, I would have thought, because, I don't know, I, I, I just really like this gameplay perspective. And I really do think that it would have worked for the sixth stage. And I think it's a shame that Sega did not ma make any DLC for this game. Because I, the one stage I really would have loved, loved to see from Sonic 06 in this game is Kingdom Valley. My god, that would have been just... That would have been the best Christmas present ever if they would have made DLC for this game. Seriously. I would have been like, thank you Sega, you're awesome. Because, <laughs> again, there are a lot of stages that I would have loved to see as DLC, but unfortunately, it's never going to happen because, um, well, Sega basically proved that the dickheads by not releasing DLC for this game. Luckily though, if you had the first PC version of this game, you have mods, fan-made mods of the stage, which I guess counts as free DLC for you PC users. God, I'm so jealous. I really wish the console versions of this game had those mods, but unfortunately, no. We're stuck with these 18 levels, or well, 9 stages, 18 levels. So, yeah. Because I really wanted to play stages like, you know, Sky Troops from the Shadow of the Hedgehog. Ice Cap from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, um, Empire City, or well, actually Skyscraper Scamper from Sonic Unleashed, uh, like I said before, Kingdom Valley from Sonic 06, Starlight Carnival from Sonic Colors, there's a bunch of stages I would have loved to play, but unfortunately I don't have the PC version. Alright, you all remember this, the mock speed section. Probably everyone's least favourite section. And because of how idiotic I was there, I'm not getting the, uh, forgotten what it's called. There was, there's a trophy you get for uh, passing this park stage without being hit by a tornado carry car or rock. So, yeah. Alrighty, so that's Crisis City Act 1 finished with. Alright. So now we are going to be moving on to Crisis City Act 1. Hang on, let me just check my phone here because I got a text 
I'm not gonna reply this time. Okay, I did reply. Didn't take that long. Anyway, <clears throat> so we have restored half of Crisis City now, which is always good. So now that that's done. We are going to be moving on to Crisis City Act 1 with Classic Sonic. Obviously. Obvs. Lol. Right. Okay. Crisis City Act 1 time. Play stage. Of course. Sorry. That was, that was my problem. Guess what? I'm not going to apply to this one. Right. <coughs> Here we are. Now this, to be honest, is pretty freaking Denmark. Damn freaking awesome if you ask me. Crisis City Act 1 with Classic Sonic. I was initially looking to Act 2, but you know what? It's pretty good. Anyway. So overall, the way they recreated Crisis City in this game. Obviously, the probably the uh, hardest and most frustrating level of the entire game, but still, yeah, I'm gonna say it's better than its 06 counterpart. Although I really, I, I actually like the 06 stage, so, yeah. despite all the glitches. Let's right go. Come on. But yeah, so uh We are on the last era of this game now guys, so uh I know it might be a bit uh, soon but you know comment your suggestions on what game you want me to do next. Obviously it's not gonna be a Sonic game because I've already done one and that's this one. But comment what game you want me to do next for seven let's play seven days. I will probably be starting it at the end of June when my exams are over. It depends when this Let's Play finishes. If this Let's Play finishes is finished before the end of June, then you might have to wait for a bit. But if this Let's Play is finished like at the end of June, then you'll be probably getting a um if this episode is uploaded on the uh like on the Sunday before the last Sunday of June, then you'll probably be getting a new Let's Play the following week, but... Yeah, that was a bit of lag there, but never mind. Anyway, as I was saying, comment your suggestions for what game you want me to do next. I would do, like, I would be open for suggestions to do, like, Wii and GameCube games. Glitch. Anyway. I w as I was saying, I would be open to do suggestions like Wii and GameCube games. By the way, there goes my rank. But the thing is, you see, I haven't got a laptop yet. I mean, I could use my dad's laptop, but that's a MacBook Pro, and I'm not so sure if the um, software I use with that, Pinnacle Studio 12, works with that. I don't know, let me know if you can find a way to uh, use, it, use Pinnacle Studio 12 on the Mac. If you could let me to a video that that would be grateful. It's because my Wii is downstairs in it and there's no computer downstairs apart from my dad's laptop. So yeah, I mean I'm gonna be getting a laptop anyway for when I go to college. So I could probably use that to record. But in the meantime, in, just in case I end up using my, my dad's MacBook Pro, I, I would be very, it, it would really would help a bunch if some of you guys commented in the suggestions ways to uh, if you could like if you could link me to the video or comment a way to use Pinnacle Studio on the MacBook Pro that would be fantastic and I would be eternally grateful to you guys not because you say my life but because you know you I don't know but yeah so I'm open for suggestions on the uh, Mega Drive games, only the ones that are on Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection though. Uh, P 
PS1 games, some PS2 games, the ones you can get from the PlayStation Store. Uh, of course, PS3 games, probably maybe PSP games, uh, but I'd have to use the camera to record those. I would say PC games, but I haven't found a way to record stuff from that, so yeah. I'm probably going to ask my desktop for Christmas anyway. I know it's ages away, but that's one thing that takes the priority this year. I'm going to see if my current desktop, which is currently dying, can see me through to the end of the year, and then at the end of the year, I'll ask for a laptop for Christmas. It's like, not, not a laptop, a desktop. And, man, I'm... that's... Second death in this stage, my god, this stage hates me. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I'm already making future plans here. For uh, my video on YouTube. But, for 7 Let's Play 7 Days, I know some people have given it up. I mean, I think the only people currently uploading at the minute are myself, Crowdchex and Blastoise, who I think he's giving up after Bully. But, um, you know what, I, 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 I actually ended up, because I couldn't be bothered doing gaming videos for a while, I ended up giving up for a while. Actually, just, you no, know, just taking a really long break on 7 Let's Play 7 Days because, you know, I couldn't be bothered in my, my, the vision was really starting to, was, I was starting to revise a lot for my school GCSE exams and stuff like that. So, I didn't really didn't have much time on my hands to record and also, I was busy doing other stuff in my free time for death in this level by the way. Yes, I know that's stating the obvious, but you know what, I don't care. As I was saying, um, it was just a bunch of reasons I didn't want to record. But then I saw uh, part 26 of Blastoise's uh, Bully Let's Play, which said that um, she's going to um, basically just stop the channel after Bully. She's got to stop doing Let's Plays. To be honest, I don't think anyone should get... I think those people still trying on this channel, myself, Crychecks, Blastoise, etc. I don't think we should give up. I think we should be recruiting new, reliable members who can upload every week on one day. Because, I mean, James Mira, who is James the Awesome Gamer, who is a member of this, he has not really been uploading lately. But, and also, I think either Dead Fallen or two, if I'm correct, haven't been uploading. Just various members haven't been uploading. I think a huge majority of them are like I mean I know Blastoise says that she understands it's a busy time of year and all that shit. But to be honest, that's no excuse. I think people should be making an effort anyway. And my it's a good thing I got a checkpoint there, but my god. You guys are lucky. Like, if I wasn't talking about random shit right now, I would be mad at this stage. Anyway. As I was saying, I know Blastoise said that she understands and she's not blaming the other members. Which, I, I don't blame any of the other members it, either, but the thing is, you know, I just think... I think we should be more careful with who we recruit, but you know what? I, I'm gonna upload every week anyway. Just putting that out there. I'm going to be uploading every week from now on. I'm not giving up on 7 Let's Play 7 Days. I am going to try my best to keep revive it and keep it going. But yeah, that was a really bad run of that level and I got a, was lucky to get a B. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this channel going no matter what happens. And I promise you that. There may be times again like the uh, long hiatus I went on, the, on before where you know I'm, it's a busy time and I want to take a break but if it's desperate measures like it's going as far as the channel dying here I, I'm gonna stick to my routine anyway we just rescued Blazer Cat I 
wish I hadn't needed your help, Sonic, but thank you. By the way, you seem to look less... spiky. You wish you hadn't needed my help? You ungrateful bitch! <laughs> I'm joking. Right. So, um... Alright. <clears throat> so... That is going to be that for episode 11 of Let's Play Sonic Generations here on 7 Let's Play 7 Days and we're going to trophy quest to see restored. I really hope you enjoyed my random commentary over that terrible, terrible run of Crisis City Act 1 there. Next up we are going to be doing my favourite stage in Sonic history and that is, well you'll see, you'll see next time. See ya.